Boolean intersect. The Boolean intersect operation creates composite solids from the intersection of two or more solids. Intersect calculates their common volume and forms a new object. All material outside the overlapped area is discarded. The intersect operation often results in useful and interesting objects. Intersect example one. Here we have a sphere and a cube. I'll move the sphere from its center to the center of the cube. The two objects appear to overlap each other. Now I'll enter the intersect command and pick the red sphere. The new composite object will be placed on the layer of the first object selected. Now pick the green cube second and press enter. Note that the portions of the sphere that were not part of the volume of the cube have been discarded. In the intersect example two, we have a sphere and a green cone. I'll move the cone from its bottom center to the center of the sphere. Again, the two objects appear to overlap each other. I'll enter the intersect command and pick the green one. The new composite object is placed on the layer of the first object selected and so that when I pick the red sphere second and press enter, you'll notice that the portions of the cone that were not part of the volume of the sphere have been discarded. Revolve curves about an axis. In addition to the solid command of extruding, this is another way to create a solid object. You can revolve a closed polyline about an axis. The profile must be closed and also the axis about which the profile is revolved can be located at any distance from the profile. This is tutorial seven. My goal here is to put a 3D solid in the upper right corner of the screen. I'll click on the model button to get back into model space. Then I'll split the screen into two vertical viewports. The viewport on the right will contain only half the profile of the shaft. A profile to be revolved must be closed, so I use the polyline edit command to make a single continuous line in order to revolve this profile. I'll type revolve and select the profile and then select the upper and lower axes about which to, to revolve it. The object is rendered and the solid is finished so I'll click on the layout button and set up the desired viewports in paper space. I'll freeze the V-Ports layer and the detailed drawing is ready for plotting. This is tutorial 20 and we're going to make another solid model. This time the profile to be revolved will be at a distance from the axis. Also remember that I made one continuous polyline out of it using the polyline edit command. Of course I could have used the other method by just tracing over the profile with another polyline. Now I'll move into the southeast isometric view. I'll type revolve enter and select the red profile and specify the axis start point at the upper left end of the center line and use the lower right as the end point and press enter to accept the default revolution of 360 degrees. 
Next, I'll type extrude and to select the three holes. Extrude the holes to an arbitrary height of five units. Now I'll use the 3D rotate command to rotate the three cylinders 90 degrees clockwise. I have to move the three cylinders forward so as they penetrate the wheel. When I subtract the cylinders from the wheel, the three holes will be formed. The solid is completed, so I'll click on the Layout button to get into paper space and set up the desired viewports. When the viewports layer is frozen, the detailed drawing is ready to be plotted. Revolving a profile partially about an axis. Remember that the profile to be revolved must be closed and that the axis can be located at any distance from the profile. I typed revolved and picked the profile and pressed enter. Type O to select the object option. Then you pick the left end of the axis line and type 90 to revolve the profile through 90 degrees. Since a point at the left end of the axis was selected, the profile is revolved above the XY plane. If you type revolve again and pick the lower profile and type O to select the object option, this time pick the right end of the axis line and you type 90 to revolve the profile through 90 degrees. This time, since a point at the right end of the axis was selected, the profile is revolved below the XY plane.